to meet at the Corova Milk Bar. The Corova Milk Bar couldn't afford its liquor license, so it sold milk plus drink. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm making another video. It was a requested video. So I wanted to know, um, you know, even though I had a little bit of time, they wanted to know about uh, how I met my uh, now ex-wife, and uh, I promised to uh, add two other two other girl uh, stories. So that's what I'm gonna do for you right now. It's kind of like a Bozo Chronicle, I guess, because the shit I was doing, one girl had me pussy whip, one girl I was smoking crack with, and the other one, you know, was my wife, and that was straight laced. That I'll do quick. I'll get that out of the way. Do that one quick so she, it's, it's a girl who requested it, so she's aware of how it happened. My name's John. Me and my friend John were driving around in his car. This was like uh, 2002. He had the Lexus, I think the 430, whatever the biggest Lexus at that time was. It was an older, older model. It wasn't an 02. It was like a 90 something, but it was like, I think 430 or something like that. Uh, we were driving around. It looked, it looked fly as fuck, you know. And we sell weed, you know, a pound each. We sold a pound. We sold a pound. And uh, of regs, not no, you know, not no high or exotics. This was, you know, when you could still sell some regs. I was selling eights uh, for twenty dollars. Three point five, twenty bucks, you know, cause it's regs. But it was good regs, nugget, nugget bud. So we uh, drove around looking for girls. And we found two girls. And they were like, yo, holla when we drove by. I'm like, yo, yo, you hear that? Let's stop and talk to these girls. He's like, yo, I want that blonde, man. Let me get that blonde. I was like, yeah, you got that. I got the girl with the black hair. I like brunettes, fuck it. Blonde, brunette, they all girls. So we pull back a little bit. They walk up a little bit. We start talking to them. And uh, we're like, yo, you girls, uh, what's up? They're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. They were trying to tell us they were models, you know, they, I mean, they, they weren't models, they had a modeling thing going on, you know, giving us, you know, lip service, but, uh, nah, maybe they did, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disrespect anyway, maybe they did, maybe, but it never happened, so I don't know why it was said, but, uh, whatever, that's not the point of the story, uh, you know, they are telling us about themselves, so we're like, yo, we smoke weed, we smoke plenty of weed, we, we smoke weed all day, you girls smoke, cause we can have you girls come in the car. We'll go to fucking my man's crib, John's crib. We'll smoke on the way there, smoke in there, smoke on the way back. You know, like, like what's up? You girls want to chill? They're like, yeah, okay. But we were walking to 7-Eleven because I'm I live right next to 7-Eleven, and they were right right by 7-Eleven, like walking. They're like, we're just getting ice cream for for her mother. The blonde girl said, you know, they're just getting ice cream for the brunette's mother. I was like, all right, I'll tell you what, listen. I said, I'll, I'll, we'll drive around, we'll smoke a blunt. We'll come back here in this exact spot in 45 minutes. You girls are here? Come on in, we'll have a fun night. You girls aren't here, you didn't want to chill. No hard feelings. They're like, all right, bet. We go off, we do our thing. Smoke, drive, come back in 45 minutes. They were right there. So we let them in. And uh, we wanted to get in a hotel, you know, that night. And uh, the blonde was all over me. You know, at the time she was blonde. The blonde was all over me, and she looked like Kendra Wilkinson, the girl who, who was married to something, Hank Bassett or whatever, the basketball player. You know, the Hugh Hefner's wife when he had the three, I mean, girlfriend when he had the three girlfriends on that TV show. The good-looking one. That's what my, that's what the blonde, the blonde-haired girl looked like. And she was all over me. So I was like, yo, I was like, John, I'm, this, you know, not for nothing, you called her, but this blonde is all over me. Let me have it. I'm going to take it. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah, do you. I'm, I'll go for the girl with the, with the brunette. You know what I mean? My guy, like, right, bet. Let's do this. And that was the end of it. You know what I mean? I hit it. I hit it. You know what I mean? He hit it. We were just doing our thing, drinking, smoking, you know. I think they had a, we, we, we picked up another one of their friends or two of their friends. One of the girl's sisters, I think, and her friend or something like that. And uh, we hung out like a few times together as the two girls and the two boys. 
you know, me being one of them. And we uh we went out and chilled. And uh let me see, let me make sure no stupid shit comes on. Whatever, whatever comes on, comes on. So um eventually we started chilling by ourselves, me and me and the blonde girl. Alright, and um Stupid shit. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Let me hope stupid shit don't come on. I'll just put anything on. Uh, I mean, me. Because <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Fucking blocks. There's some dumb shit in the background. But uh, me and the blonde started hooking up. You know what I mean? Like, we started. I started feeling it. Like, for real feeling it. Like, she had long blonde hair up to her ass. Pin straight. Went and got tanned and got the Playboy Bunny sticker. So she had that not tan on her pelvic area. And like, it was good. It was just all good. Everything was firm, tight. I was only 22. You know, she was younger. It, it was nice. It was nice. It was nice. And um, after fucking with her, you know, I lived in a house. You know, my mother loved me. Loved me. My mother loved me. I fought her brother. A fucking brother used to knock people out in one punch. I seen it. I was nervous. I'll admit I was nervous fighting him. But anger takes over that shit. You know what I mean? When I get nervous, you just punch. You're in for a penny, you're in for a pound. There's no backing out now. Now beat that motherfucker's ass in front of his mother, stepfather, uncle, uh, the uncle's whole family, the wife, the two kids, my wife, you know, which is his sister, because he's fighting his, his sister. And instead of hitting her, he was like, yo, your man's a pussy. I came out to see what was up, but his mother kept trying to keep the peace, you know, and, you know. So I let it slide first time. Second time, uh, we were all outside. Everyone's outside. He was already kicked out of the house. But the brother of the, the stepfather, his brother, lived downstairs, you know. So he let him move in there. So, like, they were all outside arguing. And he's like, yo. I don't know why you upset to the stepfather. You know, to his brother. That's his brother. I don't know why you're mad. He wasn't talking shit to you. He was talking shit to you. Looked at me like... Like, like he was starting shit. Because that motherfucker didn't like me. I'm like, yo, the second time he called me on my name. Second time I'm here to find out what's really good. And the second time that motherfucker's playing it safe. Far away. You know what I mean? He said, what the fuck you gonna do? I said, alright. I took off my... Uh... Babato, which was fake. I thought it was real, because that's what I got for Christmas. I had the price tag on it, but when I got the link fixed, I was told it was fake. <laughs> but I thought it was real, so I took it off for the fight. Uh, you know, I fucked him up. You know, I don't want to tell the whole story, because no one wants to hear stories about when you win. Fucked him up. Got arrested for a murder in 016 on Middle Country Road, where uh, in Middle, Tem Middle Island, on that uh, store thing that's abandoned, he used to be like a Kmart or something. Uh, he shot in the, the heart twice, once in the head, or once in the heart, twice in the head, I forgot. It was over drugs, you know, for heroin. And he pulled the the guy's body to, like, the, the it's not woods, but, like, the, the trees. Went to his wife's job with blood all over him. She kicked him out, like, what the fuck are you doing here? She calls the cops on him, because he's probably beating her. Anyway, so she probably figured she got a way out. Called the cops on him, they found him at his house, with the blood on him. With the gun still. So he fought it, got 25 to life, and he killed himself. Killed himself in the max. Killed himself when I was when I was locked up, you know what I mean? But he was in the max, you know? He he hung himself. So you guys probably know that story. But um that's how I, that's how I got my wife. I mean, you know, because I kept fucking her, kept fucking her, kept fucking her, and you know, I, I wasn't a, a, a user of protection. And I was just doing I, I wasn't pulling out. You know what I'm saying? And then one day her mom said, I know she's pregnant. And I was like, she's not pregnant. The fuck are you talking about? I'm telling you she's not pregnant. We've been doing this for nine months and I still didn't get her pregnant. I'm thinking because of the weed and all the stuff. Like my sperm count might be low or her eggs or, you know, whatever. I didn't care. I was, you know, wasn't thinking about it. Okay. We took her to get a test from a doctor. She was pregnant. So I was like, oh, all right. I mean, I'm down. You down? I'm down. Like... I'm down. She's like, all right, yeah. I was like, well, I'm going to do the you know, right thing. And I'm, I married her. I fucking married her. She had my kid. I'm not, I'm not going to. All right. 
still, I married her, you know, it didn't work out, but, you know, I married her. So that's how I met my wife. Um, this one girl, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the story about this fucked up girl about for a year I was with. Um, I met her like on, on, uh, MySpace? Yeah, MySpace. MySpace was popping. I had a street bike from this girl. I'll tell that story. You know, I, the girl took the bike away because I wouldn't date her and shit like that. First night I met her, and she was hitting on me. On MySpace. Hitting on me. And got I had got my mother-in-law to drop her off, which was crazy. And I got my wife with her, uh, ex, you know, now ex, but wife to drive her home with whoever she was with. Like, yo, I'm, I'm a beast. <laughs> I'm a beast. They, they drop him your pussy. You know what I mean? I fuck the bitch in the pussy and the ass. That's another story. I'll tell you another time. But, uh, so I had the street bike. So, I'm, you know, I'm talking with this girl. And this girl's down to chill one night. Like, real late. Real late. So, I was like, all right, let's do it. You know what I mean? Like, I'll go I'll go where you are. She lived in Ridge. You know, she was down there. Down, down Middle Island. Make a left on one of the roads by the gas stations in Ridge. Ridge. So, um, I like couldn't find her first, but she was sitting, she was trying to sit all sexy on top of like the hood. But like, you know, a street bike with a helmet, you know, you know, let's just stand, someone stand there. It's dark out. I, I couldn't see it. So I called her. I was like, I, I don't know if I'm in the right road. She's like, I hear your bike going around. I seen you pass me. You're on the right road. You passed me. So I, I came back and I found her. And uh, she looked good. She looked like Blake Lively. She looked like Blake Lively. And I, you know, I hung out with her, and she was with another guy, and, uh, you know, I, I had plenty of weed, they had alcohol, so, like, you know, we smoked my weed, we drank their alcohol, and, uh, I was like, yo, listen, I gotta ask this, you know, the, uh, you know, I gotta ask this, are you two together? Cause, cause, then I won't f flirt, <laughs> then I won't do nothing, I won't disrespect that, you know what I mean? I'll respect that relationship, if you guys are together. She laughed, laughed at him, because I later found, you know, find out, like, a day or two later, that guy's obsessed with her, like, psychotically obsessed, and he'll do anything for her, anything, anything, he always just wants to talk to her, he's all right just being around her, even if she's cursing him out, using him, you know, he, he, was, he was bad with her, but, uh, so, I, I started fucking her, but she lived in an, it wasn't even an apartment, it was, a garage that didn't connect to the house, so it's just separate, but half of it, the back half, was an apartment. Wasn't when she was there. The walls, sheetrock walls weren't even up. There was bugs crawling around. Like, it wasn't even finished. The plumbing wasn't even on. Like, the pipes had holes and cracked, and, uh, you know, I, I, what the fuck are you doing here? She's like, oh, uh, you know, I made a deal with the, with the homeowner. If I fix it up, I can live here for free for a while. I was like, yo, I mean, this wasn't the first day I talked, I told her this, but I was like, yo, after a while, I was like, yo, I'm not going to let you live here by yourself, like, this is bad, like, I'm going to suffer with you, you know what I mean, like, I ain't going to let you suffer by yourself, I'm going to suffer with you, I bring you in my, I tell his own parents, I'll bring you out my parents' crib if I could, but I can't, so I'll live with you, you know what I mean, I'll, I'll suffer, I'll suffer to suffer with you, and we did, we did it for a while, and, uh, you know, we'd always hang out with the mom, because the mom had the car, we were using the mom's car all the time, and, um, yeah, it was just, it was just, the, the pussy was good, I'll admit, it was just me and her all day, by ourselves in that fucking dungeon, you know, I light, I brought my, eventually my TV, you know, big, big TV, uh, computer and shit like that, but, uh, computer didn't work, so I brought that back, because I couldn't tap into nothing, but uh, I brought DVD player, a bunch of DVDs. We were good, you know. We had, we had regular shit. Bought a little fridge. Yeah, we had regular shit. It was like a, it was like a, it was like a ghetto hotel. But I didn't want to be there by myself because she was so pretty. Uh, like she was like, and she would catch problems for me. Like we'd be walking down the streets because she liked to walk, to stay in shape. And uh, every fucking car, almost every car. Would honk their horn. And I'd be like, yo, fuck you. What the fuck, Polo? You know, now it's just like, yo, that's my girl. Yeah, honk. You know what I mean? Like, tell me, tell me how fly of a girl I got. You know, but 
Back then, I a little bugged out. But I, I ain't getting no fights, but, you know, she almost got me to some shit. You know, I was always getting pissed at people fucking honking. Because she would wear a bandana as a top, even. Like, she was very, very skinny. Very skinny. Long brown hair. Like, dirty blonde or brown. Dirty blondish. But brown, but brown, more browner. Like, uh, long. Like, down at the bottom of her butt. Her hair was beautiful. And uh, all we did all day was we smoked weed all day. That's exotic. We smoked exotics all day. And drank liquor. Not beers. Liquor, liquor, liquor. And fucked. That's all we did. But uh, like I said, there was no running water. So like, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be pissing right outside in the bushes. You know what I mean? Like, after a while, when you keep pissing and pissing and pissing, you smell the fucking, uh, I don't know, the ammonia smell type shit. But when we had to shit, you know, we had to walk all the way down that road to get to Middle Country Road to get to McDonald's. You know, there's 7 Eleven right there, McDonald's and all that shit. It was a pain in the ass. We had to call the mom, get the showers. Mom brings the, to, to, um, not Shirley, right there. Where, where the Indian reservations are. Mastic. Bring us the Mastic of where she was at at time and, uh, let us get the showers. Eventually, I had a job. I got a job, uh, work, uh, still working there, while I was building lasers. I actually was building lasers for a fucking medical equipment. It was at Brookhaven Lab Instruments or some shit in Holtzville on, on Blue Point or some shit. Uh, I was supposed to be just an electronic assembler. You know, just little little kits, kits, and just keep turning them in and then other people. But I was doing them so fast and so good right off the bat, I got called over. And I had to sit down. And these, these other people were like scientists or something. They had the white coat things. Like, like you know, because we built stuff for hospitals. Like lasers that sit in these things that shoot. And it and, and, it, and what bounces back, like they, they collabor, it, it, it calibrates a, some sort of like math. And tell, it, it, it counts something. Uh, you know, we built medical equipment. And uh, they called me over to this guy. He's like, I want you to work with him right now. I was like, okay. The guy showed me how to build a fucking, a little laser, build the housing for it, put the uh, diode in it, bring it to, to the other machine, calibrate the fucking exactly, you know, make it right. And send in. After he made them, and, I, and then I made one with him right there, you know, with me. I, I, I had no problem with it. It was easy. It was fucking easy enough. He's like, you think you could do this? I was like, yeah. He's like, you think you could do this without me? I'm like, yeah, I could do it. I could do it without you. If I got a question, I'll just ask you. He's like, no. He's like, tomorrow, I'm going to Germany. Because that's what they did. They went out of the country to sell the shit. You know what I mean? He's like, I'm going to Germany for two weeks. I'm not going to be here. He's like, this is all up to you now. And this is brand new. Brand spanking new. Like, we're using these... For the first time, I was like, holy shit, what responsibility? Who would have thought? Because on my break, I'm taking the baseball bat hits. But uh, I was building lasers, and uh, I wound up having to build the, uh, the write down the uh, instruction manual how to build them. Because that's how new it was. They didn't even have that on, like, how to make them, you know? And uh, I made a video on how I how I lost that job. I've uh, seen fucking, uh, it was bugged out. Crack and Bob getting stuck in the fucking bathroom, leaving work, but not leaving the property, still being on work hours later, stuck, scared they're gonna see me and wonder why the fuck is this guy who left, who had a problem, I had to leave three hours ago, still on the property. And what the fuck is he doing standing by trees? You know, it was bugged out. I told that story. But uh with her, yeah. I went up not hanging out with her that night, because I you know, she don't do those drugs. And I didn't want to fucking find out, you know what I mean? So I was like, my friend is bringing me home. My, you know, a good friend of mine, bring me, bring me home. I mean, it's good, it's all right. I had him bring me home eventually, because he didn't hang, he didn't come to me when he was supposed to. He disappeared because he was having problems with his girl. And he shut off his phone. I had this. I took a cab to see this guy, uh, Greg, to pick up some more shit. And he was like, you want to chill? I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'll, 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 Got a cab waiting for me. He looks behind me. He's like, bro, I don't see no cab. I was like, nah, I have him spinning the block. I wouldn't do that to you. I didn't know cab. But he just had a hot girl with him. I didn't want to feel like 
I used to get stuck smoking that shit, you know, like look out windows, you know. Now, if I did it, it wouldn't, you know, I'd just be chill. But, uh, yeah, so I went, I went to my house eventually because a little bit after he, he did call me because I was on, I was just by like the cemetery by the kid's house smoking, I, you know. But he called me, he's like, you're still in there, right? I said, absolutely, actually, I do. I was like, I'm at, because he introduced me to that guy. I was like, I'm right by his house. I'm at the cemetery. So he picked me up. I was like, I got some shit. Picked me up. We were doing our thing on the way to drop me off. He dropped me off. He's like, yo, if you get kicked out, call me. Stay at my crib overnight. I go to her house, my house, you know, and I can't get in. There's nobody there. Nobody there. So I'm not going to tell the whole story, the funny parts of it, because that, that story was already told. Like, I even dove under the car, I seen a car coming up, took a hit under the car. It was the homeowner and the, her two kids, uh, two daughters and her boyfriend. You know, I was doing stupid shit, and I was just like, I have to leave the property, you know what I mean? Like, they're going to they're gonna see me doing some dumb shit, you know? And I even pushed myself in bushes to take a hit. And only this part of me was covered, but I felt hidden. You know, I was doing dumb shit. I told that on a on a on an early video, but uh, she left me that night. You know what I mean? She broke up with me. She uh, moved in with her mother, Mastic, and uh, she was done. So I moved home for a third day, and she couldn't go. With she couldn't go without me. So she came to my crib to talk to me, and she jumped right on me. You know, my mom was right there. She jumped right on me, started making out on me. She's like, I love you, I love you. Come come with me, come back with me. I'm sorry, I'm come back with me. I'm like, where? She's like, call me the mastic. We're all fucking, so me, her, and her mom were sharing one bedroom in mastic. You know, the mom knew the girl, and uh, <clears throat> there was a, a boy there around my age. He had a girlfriend, you know, around, you know, around, little younger than him, so, you know, a little younger than me, too, but whatever, my girl, her, you know, it was all right, <clears throat> and they smoked weed, you know, freestyle, it was all right, but there'd be plenty of times while I was fucking her on the air mattress, the mom is right next to us, I don't even have to stretch my arm out, I could touch her right here, and we're just fucking, but the mom used to take, uh, I forgot what those pills are. They, they, they knock you out. They're the antipsychotics. They give them, they kind of give them to you in uh, the county. I forgot. You know what they are, but I, I can't get it off the top of my head right now. And she used to just pass out like a time. You couldn't even wake her up. You know? And uh, we eventually moved into an apartment in Port Jeff. And uh, behind the stores, you know, that's, you know, over there. By the, that intersection that's got like five things, you know, once the 347 and the other roads, like behind those stores. But um, we got the bedroom and the mom got the couch. And but the mom's paying the rent. You know, it was nice. But I got tired of it. Like, I was with her a year. The pussy was good. The pussy was great. But she was like, like, almost hit me sometimes. Like, I was wondering, how does someone this hot not have a boyfriend? How? I found out reason. Stick for psycho. She lit literally was crazy. She was like super over, not protective, but like over like, like, like you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> the bitch was crazy. She was crazy and she would get like almost violent on me sometimes, you know, like hit me, you know, of course I, I block it up, you know, I get, I get hit in the arm, you know what I mean? But she was crazy. She was fucking crazy. So I broke up with her one day when we were together for a year. I had two bench warrants for my arrest. So when I, I, I left, she closed the door on me. You know, the bedroom door. All I had was my basketball shorts on. Nothing. No shirt, no socks, no shoes, no ID. My ID always stayed in her purse because I had the warrants. So um, she wouldn't let me in. So I go around, run around the house. Yeah, the win our windows were in the front, and they didn't have screens for whatever reason. I opened the window up. I was coming through the window. You know, it's a it's on the first floor, and the bed was right against the window. It was nothing serious, but she stood on the bed and started stomping me out, stomping me out. So what I do? I grabbed her ankles and picked them up. Bitch weighed nothing. She didn't break a hundred. 
She didn't break 100 pounds. All she did was 105 at the most. She, she And she was fit, though. Like, she walked, you know, she was fit. It looked good on her. But uh, I loved it, man. I love skinny, a nice skinny girl. But uh, she goes, oh, you want to fuck with me? Watch this. 911. Hi, yeah, my my boyfriend just beat the shit out of me. He's got uh, two bench warrants for his arrest, too. You know, I was like, I'm going to stay away from these motherfuckers. I was like, I'm done with you. I was like, they're going to look at my face all fucked up. And look how tiny you are. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I didn't do a damn thing. I picked your fucking legs up because you kept stomping me out. You're going to get yourself in trouble. But I'm not going to do nothing. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm pressed on. I'm not going to do nothing. I just want to get my fucking whatever my bench wants for. They for 5'11s. Get them over and done with. I, you know, I was running out for over a year from them shits. So I waited. I waited for them. They looked at me. They looked at her. They looked at me again. They said, No. No, we're going to we're gonna tell her we're locking neither of you up or we're locking the both of you up. Because, no, nah, because they knew. Like, I'm fucked up <laughs> from the stepping and, st- and the sneakers. She had sneakers on. And she was fine. You know what I mean? Like, come on. But uh, they came back. They're like, oh, this is how you spell your last name. I'm, I'm Santa Maro. But she, she spelled it wrong on purpose and gave them a wrong birthday on purpose. Because she didn't want to do what she... Already did. You already did it. Like, you gotta go all the way. I was like, that's not how you spell my name. That's not my birthday. This is my birthday. And this is how you spell my name. Like, you better not be lying to us. I was like, the warrant's gonna come up on the information I gave you. So, you know, I don't know what you're gonna think. You, know, you think what you want. And they're like, alright, we'll, we'll bring you in for the, for, for the bench warrants. So I got locked up for the bench warrants. But that was it. You know what I mean? I, I didn't talk to her. I talked to her once after that. I, was, I, I couldn't even get all, all my shit back. My dad didn't get all my shit right away. I told him to get all my shit. She kept my Burberry coat. I had a full fucking Burberry coat, wool inside. Like, I got that from the city. I, I, she kept my good shit. But, you know, I got, I got my dad got my shit back. But, bitch had my, my house system. I had a fucking 12-inch... Sub, the Sun and Vega set up the house sub for your stereo, but I didn't have Sun and Vega. I had MTX after, you know, I bought that, you know, from a car, but I had it for that. And uh, I had a nice system. I had a nice house system. The bitch capped it. The bitch capped it. Like, yo, it's not your shit. But I didn't want no issues with it. So I was like, whatever. Whatever. You, whatever. You know what I mean? It was done. So it was done. So that was that. Was that. And I don't want to make this too long. So, I'm going to tell the story another time about the girl I got the street bike from. That's a fucked up story. Uh, that was the first time and only time I've ever been burnt. And, uh, you know, I'm cured. You know, fuck, you got been cured. But she burned me. Uh, and I'll tell the, the other story. I forgot what the other story. And I still will make the video about the other house burglaries that the gentleman asked for. I do do all videos suggested. I hope you guys have a good time. I hope you guys are enjoying your your your, your New Year's Eve when that ball drops. Believe me, I'm gonna be sitting there doing the doing doing the right thing, doing 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 what you're supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? Doing everything you're supposed to be doing. Like I got, I don't want to have everything up on the camera because you know proof is in the pudding there. So. And people did say my mind was infected by devils. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a good time. Enjoy your day. And girls, enjoy me. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.